In my last video, I complained that I had to move all my other servers off this rack shelf so I can get to the HP. And in this video, I'm going to fix that. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, 15 new rack. It might not look like much, it's because this is in a box. Let me find a knife. And I paid about 100 for this. The listing on Amazon for the official rack um, from Amazon, from StarTech, was about 230 quid for a 15 new. Then I had a look around and I saw this from Rising Electronics. There's a reseller, I think. And um, these sell out surprisingly quickly. I had this bookmarked and in my basket for about a month now. And suddenly it's gone back in stock. So I just went and clicked buy. So, yeah. So this is the, well this is like surprisingly heavy, wow, yeah so this is the, uh, the plate bolt down to the floor, um, next in the box we have, looks like the screws and we also get a pack of uh, cage nuts and screws which is pretty nice. And then these are the the sides of the rack itself. Nice. Uh, now we have the adjustable plates that you use to adjust it. Because it's uh, adjustable depth, um, so you've got a bit of um, like a free movement to how deep your servers are, you can amount. It's like you just mount and you can uh, put a bolt in to extend and retract. It looks like you've got four of these. Two for the top, two for the bottom. everything that was in the box, they're just uh, packaging material. Put this aside. Right, so look at these. It looks like we've got a assembly instructions. <laughs> okay. So, ah. Uh, Like these are all the uh, the nuts they used to assemble it. And so they've fallen inside the bag. Um, yeah. Um, I will stop the recording and I will get back to you once I figure out how to put this together. Right. So the rack's been built. Um, I also put the, uh, the rails in for the DL380G7. Uh, my HP server, so 
um, I'll be recommending that. I've all um, I planned my layout already, so I know where everything's going. Um, I've now shut down all my servers, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's recommend all the equipment. And I'll be back. So here we are, this is my rack setup. I've got all my equipment in there, my uh, TLSG1024 network switch, my Dell R2102 and my DL380G7. So, um, so the rack was easy to assemble. Yeah, all of the screws are the same. So you can use the screws for all the, all the sides. Um, so there's no, there's no confusion on, on what bolts are for which and uh, all of that. So. Um, uh, yeah. So I'll leave you with some uh, B-roll quickly. Um, I've added some cable management to route all the cables. So when I'm sliding this uh, HP out, and yes, I've I've got rails for it now, so I can pull it out when I want to and work on it without taking out the rack. So um, yeah, I've got my three SSDs. Well, four. Um, I've got a problem with the RAID card battery, where it's when it's not charged, it'll it won't let you extend the volume. So I've got this as a spare at the moment. So when the uh, RAID can, when the battery uh, sort of works again, um, I'll, add to the, I'll add it to the array and, it, and extend it. Don't know how long that will take. Um, but anyway, I've got my PDU mounted. Yeah, I've got my PDU mounted at the back, sort of. Uh, like that, the radiator's off, by the way. Um, like that. So this rack is 15U, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. It turned out really nice. It's like down the side and everything, and uh, yeah. Hmm. If only I could access my Playhouse's Discord. Oh wait, I'm a Patreon! With the link in the description, you can access my Playhouse's Discord server where you can talk with Morton himself and other members of the Patreon community. So thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in next video. Bye!